Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Classic Who. So uh, today is part three and four in the Sensorites serial. And I really liked the first uh, two parts. Um, I felt like they were really enjoyable to watch. So I'm excited to see where the story's gonna go. I really surprisingly liked Susan in the first two parts. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to get my mind changed. I don't hate her or anything like that. It's, it's not that deep. She just, she just screams a lot. And sometimes I have a headache, you know? Just saying. All right, let's get started. Then any harm or kid her if you're trying to interfere. And if we do nothing, she'll die. We need to die. Oh, that's care. right, Ian. Why not? It's all we have. Okay, I'm not carrying any weapons yet. I am frightened of them. Yo, well, you better be, bitch! You don't understand the sense, right? Do you think I don't understand? Trust is a two-sided affair. Stop treating me like a child! You will do as I told Susan. Come here. Sorry, Grandfather, I can't do it. <gasps> this instant... Ooh! Rebellious! Oh, well, that didn't last very long. Oh, Put on the light, Chesterton. Be trying to sing. Put the light out again. All right, I will. Dictated to by petty thieves and my own grandchild. Sense rights must have hypnotized her in some way. No, I don't think so. She's just growing up, Ian. Oh, mm -hmm. Susan. So I'm to be treated like a silly little child. If you behave like one, yes. Bitch! Oh, no! Look, why do you make her unhappy? We can read the misery in her mind. Yes, and it's a good thing you can't read the anger in mine. Woo! Yes. Tell him we're not pirates or plunderers. There's only one treasure we desire from him. What is that? Freedom. You look much better, John. Much better. We'll soon have you as good as new. I don't know if he looks much I better. I like the voices. Oh, see? You're going down to the sensory with John and some of the others. They're going to cure him. No, it's no use. Girl, You're don't good. give up so quickly. Then you use telepathy to blanket out the minds of the spaceship's crew. Hmm? Telepathy, Grandfather, don't antagonize them. I merely want <laughs> to know why you attack matrons and the First doctor, so sassy. Ago, our people are dying, and the first elder says he senses great knowledge in you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. You <laughs> 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 some kind of uh, bargaining ahead of us. Reluctant as I am to leave you, I'm afraid we have no alternative. Oh, I should be all right. I'm more worried about you. Sorry about this. Oh my God, kiss. Kiss. Goodbye. I love you. Kiss. Hi. I have decided to invite these humans here because I hope to use them to end the deaths of our own people. What we must create between us is trust. He makes a wise decision. But based entirely upon trust. Do you trust these earth creatures? One suspicious act and the disintegrator will destroy them. Oh, you no. Will. I shall not wait. We will not be safe until these earth creatures are dead. It's a jumble of words. No, Carol, no. Remember, his mind is open. He can tell the difference between good and evil people. Oh. Then when they are seated, kill them. Can do <laughs> yes. The man John can be exactly... Yeah, they're really strike first kind of people. He is a good man. Not like... Not like who, John? He is good. Did he just like look at the and camera to so tell us that? It doesn't hold okay. the fact that you're responsible Breaking for that condition. fourth wall. They are just taking their positions. Get ready to fire! What if they like accidentally hit? Disconnect the disintegrator. Why? Because they are reasonable, they are civilized. And I order that the machine be dismantled. Give me the firing key. Take care lest my doubts not become realities. The dialogue in this could be use more work. <laughs> do not drink. Why do you offer insult to our guests? You will bring them the crystal water and take the other away. I hope you won't be offended if I drink some. <laughs> Very thirsty. As long as you taste of the crystal water. Would you mind telling us something about the... <coughs> <coughs> I beg your pardon. The, the disease. Oh, no, Ian. I intended to. It takes... All manner of people. 
He drank the other water. Yes, uh, does it uh, affect the elders? No. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, yes, Ian. It, uh, might be a clue. My dear Chesterton, are you all right? Hmm? Oh, he says, my dear Chesterton. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, Ian! There is no hope. Your friend is dying. First of all, bitch, no, he's not. A, r a race against death. Oh my lord! Oh, tell Barbara. She'll handle it. She always does. Can you do anything for him? Because of the water. It's all manner of people. It's incredible. Doctor, come on. Body temperature. We've done everything together. We come from the spaceship together. We've oh my God! Get together. there yeah. faster. Yeah. He drank a different kind of water. It's the water. Oh, the who knew? Who... His eyes are open, Grandfather. Oh, Ian, fight it. Well, we must make sure that no one drinks anything but the crystal water. Agreed. I love how uh, whenever he talks, he always happen. like they will be on it. Holds on to his. Ian turns it up. Come along, old chap. Don't have Susan pick you up. <laughs> Will they let me into my ship? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was... by me in this matter. Or pretending to die. Then you let the doctor into his spaceship. Pretending! Or he leave his friends at our mercy. This is a terrible picture you paint. If they can sense... Do you mistrust them as much as all that? Like Susan's mood and her me. despair. So, I like, can't caution. they sense... I will think of your advice. Like whether she's telling the truth? And weigh up the matter. Oh man, John. It would have been better to kill him than kill him, scientist. Leave us. Okay. This is like Sir. Mr. Grumpy Pants he over here. This planet. One more insolent word from you. I shall ask that your color of office be taken from you. Oh, damn. This is a trip to get us at Evil. Evil. Evil is here. Cannot hear you. Your mind is closed by the machine. I am the enemy of all earth creatures, and any sense about who defends them shall be swept away. I must warn them of your evil. Oh, great. Fucking John to the rescue. We're, we're saved. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> John, come on. <laughs> Look alive, John. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what we'd all do if you changed your badges and sashes. We wouldn't be able to tell you apart. Oh, great. I never thought of that. Oh, no. Oh, no, you gave Mr. Grumpy Pants an idea. I cannot allow you to go to your ship. You may prove your poisoned water theory there. Or not at all. You fool! Grandfather, please! Now, sir, you're the laboratory. And I only hope this time to save him. The second elder the doctor has needs given the body business into right now. Warriors. These creatures are defeating us with smiles and gentle words. Yeah. Well, listen and agree. It's the worst way to be defeated. Soon we shall all be saved. I believe your people have been dying because there is atropine poison in the aqueduct water. Oh my god. I am so here for this classic room montage right now. Why are we meeting here? Oh, then. You will be punished for this offense. Your family group is also in my car. Uh, what have you done with them? Nothing so far. The young man pretends to be ill. Oh my god. The doctor pretends to cure him. Work with him. They say what a conspiracy theorist over here. <laughs> ah! Taking the sash. Who is to know that I am not the second elder now? Because you have the grumpy but voice. Will you please see that that goes to the first elder's room? Give it to my grandpa, Susan. No, no, no. What's that, my friend? Plotting. Come on, John. Oh, Lord. Couple words at a time, John. I don't know. It might be more lucid, you know, than one should imagine. Yeah. Now, I'm going off on an expedition, and I want you to take note of what he says. I think he's getting better, and I'm sure you're going to have a great future between you later on. I'm teaching. You take it to the young Earth creature who is ill. Yes. Give it to me. Return to your laboratory. Right. They are trying to poison us all. I will prove it to you. Yeah. I say he will live because he is pretending. This will prove it. If you don't want to return, I'm going to come here just to look. I'm going in there. No, you must not. There are monsters in there. 
Ah! Yes, I think you should return to the laboratory. I should be all right. <laughs> Leave it to me, will you? I assure you. He's like, all right. There's more in this than meets the eye. <laughs> oh my god. He's so joyful. He's like, ooh, monsters. <laughs> No running around for Vicky. Oh no, is Sash guy gonna think Ian's faking? Actually, I'm quite happy. Because he's better? Oh my god. The aqueduct. It's inhabited by monsters. What? We must get him out. Oh my god. You got someone you can send down there to help him? Ian's gonna go. Most of our men do not return. Oh. I left to go myself. Yeah, oh my god, Ian, you are the fucking man. You don't look great, sweetie, but I love your pep. I need someone to show us the way. Ian, I, I can't. I can't with Ian. He is just the fucking These best. These people have fine qualities. The second owner and I have misjudged them. Give me the mind transmitter. Do you think I'm a fool? You can hear, but you cannot speak your mind without this. <laughs> oh, what is he saying to you? Its safety depends upon you. Damn. You're an asshole. No one can come out of the act protect alive. The one known as the doctor is near death. He's very, um... Is this it? Yes. Passionate. Take this. Ian, how do you feel? Ian. You don't want to go any further, just see. Honey no, bear. I'm fine. He's so brave, he's go gonna on. go no matter what. Oh! Oh my god, what is it? I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, what I'm going to say about these um, these two parts here, there's I feel like I felt it more in these two episodes than I have in any of the other classic Who episodes that very um, explanatory language, things that you probably would get or whatever. Um, they kind of just put that em emphasis on it. Um, like, uh, j even just saying stuff like without the sensoscope, whatever it is, <laughs> like we can't communicate. And like, obviously, you know, like, uh, if you're paying attention, you, you get that. But I love, so I feel like it's the first, uh, story that's really kind of done that, that I would assume is geared, uh, because, uh, towards the fact that, that kids watched this um and so i have to say i'm um, uh, you know the the dialogue is a bit to kind of sit through some of it um some of it's okay um there's a serious lack of barbara so you know i don't yeah i don't like that but um i love the idea of the sensorites I feel like it's a great concept for an alien. Um, they can really kind of sense, but they're also like their own senses seem to be a bit sensitive. Ah, 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 oh, I'll be here all week. Um, so they, uh, like, you know, they're, they're, they're very afraid of the dark. They're sensitive to loud sounds and, and, and things like that. Um, but they have this sort of, you know, they can kind of, at least with Susan particularly, can kind of have that feeling, um, which I find uh, it all to be kind of really interesting. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting concept to kind of explore, and I don't know how much they're going to explore into it in the last two parts and stuff. Obviously, the main thing is this is a bit of a, a, a mystery in the sense of kind of story, um, as opposed to maybe what are the inner workings of the sense rights, at least for these two parts, I think, because it was very much, you know, like the water's poison, how did the water get poison? And then Mr. Grumpy Pants is just trying to make everybody's life terrible. You know what I mean? Like he's just, you know, pushing the envelope over here. Um, I, I think that uh, it's, you know, Probably, um, writing wise, one of the, the tougher ones to, to get through, like the, the dialogue, but I am still really intrigued by the story. 
um, and, and what's going on, um, and I'm, I'm excited to watch the next one. Um, I've kind of found in, just in general, that um, if you like a TARDIS team, you're, you kind of just enjoy watching the sh I know that that seems like such a, like, easy thing to come up with, but um, you can let a lot go when it comes to maybe not the best writing or maybe not the most interesting plot, um, which I'm, I'm interested in this plot, so, you know, but um, just in general, I'm making that statement, and I really love you know, the first Doctor and and Ian and Barbara. And, and Susan's been great in this story. I feel like Susan's been wonderful. Um, I love the idea in the beginning of the first, um, part three, where it's kind of Susan sort of standing up and saying that she's not a child. And I don't know if that's a growth of the character that we're going to get to see more. I would love to see that. You know, Susan, I, I really, a lot of her purpose in, in a lot of the first stories have been for her to kind of be the screaming child. She had a moment in uh, the Dalek, um, it's either called, it's the Daleks, right? I think, believe that's what it's called, the, the Dalek story, um, where she had to kind of go off on her own and, and um, kind of take a lot on her shoulders and save the day in that sense and and I like seeing a little bit more of that with her and the growth that can kind of come with that there's something about a very young person traveling in the TARDIS um kind of getting their own strength and I really enjoy would enjoy seeing more of that and though we only got a little glimpse of her kind of in the beginning there was a bit of a um rift between her and the doctor. I, I really loved um, that just in general. Anyway, um, so maybe there'll be slightly more of that. Um, I don't know how in-depth they get with character growth because I, I, I genuinely am not accustomed to classic Who. I'm accustomed to New Who, which I would say with some companions, they really tell a very strong and significant story with. Um, and so I'm kind of in this sort of space where I'm not sure how in depth we're going to go um, and how, you know, I'm, I don't know if it's going to be like uh, just some stories have an effect on certain characters. You would say like the Aztecs had a strong effect on Barbara, right? Um, whereas you know, maybe a new who it tends to be more arcs. Um, even, and I know Moffat did it a lot, but even in the, the, um, RTD era, there was a lot of arcs with the, the with the companions themselves. And I don't know if there's going to be a whole arc for something. I would love that though. I, I mean, I, uh, I'm, I think it's also just, you know, having a young person be exposed to all of this stuff. It's a very interesting thing to explore. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.